So you see my hand yeah. hold, thumbs under the chin, finger, yeah. fingers grasping, elbows against your front snugly. You mm -hmm. gently bite so the fingers feel the mouth close. And mm -hmm. then as you tip your head back, you allow your mouth to open so that your lower jaw does not change position. That's fine. And in that position, gently bite, restrain with your fingers. And then as you ease the bite, tip your head back further. Okay, and bite again. And tip back further. Gaze at your eyebrows. Good. Mouth is open. Now with your chin against your thumbs, as you bring your head to neutral position, your thumbs prevent your lower jaw from moving that direction. So there's pressure between thumbs and your lower jaw at the chin as you bring your head to neutral position. Okay, then bring your chin in toward your neck and that completes one cycle. Okay. That's pressing a bit hard with my fingernails. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So, of course, the idea is to have some subtlety because if you use a hard touch, you're teaching yourself that you need hard effort in those muscles that move the lower jaw. And we're going okay. the other direction towards less effort. So, so okay. it's a relatively, as I said, you bite gently. And on the way closing, you also are gentle. So the pressure is very constant against the thumb tips. It's not hard, but it is constant. Okay, yeah. Kind of doesn't look like you got no. the needed result from that movement. Because... It doesn't. Because <laughs> I saw something about your first pass through this pattern. So now tell me, do your, do your jaws feel looser from just that one? Can't. Well, well, and what I've been noticing, I should have mentioned before, is when I've been checking after the, uh, the original move on the floor, is that this side of my jaw is completely stuck. I, I feel like it's in an angle mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. Well, you're, this time your movement was looks pretty straight as you open the mouth. Right. So there was something that, by the way, that what you just described is the reason we don't stack the fingers. Yeah. Okay. The crude workaround is to stack them the other way, alternate okay. so that you have one side higher than the other. It doesn't teach you a straightforward yeah. movement, but it does get you out of the contraction. Mm -hmm. The movement for the side that is one-sided clenching is one where you're lying on your front and your hand is this way. Do you, do you remember this one? Oh, yes, I remember that one. I could look up what video that was in, and yeah. So if you're stuck on the right, it's the left hand that's covering the right side of your jaw. That's it. The fingers are hooked behind the angle of the jaw. Can you see? Yeah. And then the groove or notch of the palm fits over the line of the jaw, mandible. Yeah. And then... It's a relative movement between the jaw and the cranium. Is that the one? Are you doing this lying down? Yes. Uh, right? except, no, you yeah. switch hands. So if this side is feels tight, then I'm working on that side. No, it's your left hand. It's covering your right side of your mandible. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you can fit the jaw line into the notch of the palm. Yeah, okay. okay. And then it's a matter of side glide of the lower jaw, where your fingers oh, I mean. draw the lower yeah, jaw okay. further out each repetition of the side glide. And I'm doing this lying down. Lying down. Yeah. No, I do remember that, so I could look at that video. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, and what to do both sides or just the sides that stuck? You do both sides because you don't really know the condition of both sides. Yeah. Unless you test mm -hmm. for the, your condition. And and you do mm -hmm. the movement until it's about equally easy for you to draw that side of the jaw forward out of the joint here, the TMJ. Yeah. Okay. And so it looks like we may indeed have found what's going on. It's just that that other movement wasn't workable for you. Okay, so do some of and that. Work this, and then because you're doing this seated version, you have to do something to deal with the base of the head. Mm -hmm. And for that, the arch and curl movement would be sufficient. Either gentle spine waves, part two, or the arch and curl movement. How many, how many days to do all of the jaw and arch and curl? Again, like see how I it go. It depends on how days. quickly you change. Yeah. One practice session will sh show you something about your pace of change. And you, you do mm -hmm. it until nothing further is improving. There's two reasons nothing further improves. Mm -hmm. One is you've gotten the complete change you need. The other is something else is interfering and that's where we go back to the SI program. Okay? But... Yeah. Okay. And do You'll I know by sorry. one. <laughs> I was thinking, yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> you, you go first. <laughs> just evaluate the result after a practice session. That's all. Just notice. Mm -hmm. I would expect you would feel an yeah. improvement of comfort.